Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing Big Druid, and this deck was suggested to me by Frederick Likes Games, so thank you for that suggestion, Frederick. Um, and this is a deck I've seen Tice play on his channel. I think he actually designed this deck, but I've seen him play this a lot, and I always wanted to try it myself because it looks really good. But the problem is I didn't used to have Ysera, um, and I also didn't have Oakheart. Well, I just opened Ysera in my welcome bundle, so I crafted Oakheart and put the deck together. And I was really excited to play, and I lost eight games in a row. I lost 8-0. So <laughs> it was ridiculous. So I, you know, I deleted the deck. I was like, right. I'm not playing this now. I left it a few days and I've come back to it. I'm glad I've come back to it because, um, you know, everyone can have those days in half zone where you just lose. And this deck, although really, really strong in certain instances, it does have the potential to be terrible. And the reason I say that is because if you draw the cards in the wrong order, which you have no control over pretty much, then it doesn't work. Um, and let me just explain the premise of the deck and it, it's called big druid because you have huge dragons in the deck um you've got two drakes you've got the sleepy dragon you've also got your sarah you've also got lich king um and the way that the, what the deck wants to do is it wants to ramp early like all druids do but then on turn nine you play master Oakart. And if you've done this right or you haven't drawn the wrong cards this can be excellent because your oak heart brings out um, a Jakari Enchanter, which is the one attack, your end of turn effects trigger twice. It also brings out the Dragon Hatcher, because that's a two attack minion. So with the combination of those two, you will then draw out two dragons at the end of your turn. So just by playing a nine mana Okar, you get a huge board full of two big dragons, Okar, the Jakari, and your Dragon Hatcher. And then in future turns, if your opponent can't kill the Dragon Hatcher, it just keeps going and it keeps snowboarding. So you can see how it's really good. The problem is, if you don't draw Okar early enough, you don't get to do that. If you don't draw your ramp, the deck's quite slow at the beginning. Um, you really do need to play the ramp cards to get out there. And if you draw your dragons, they don't come out with your dragon hatcher. So it's got the potential for some frustrations, but when it works, it's really cool. And I'm glad I played it the second time because the second time around, I did much better. I still did lose some games. I still struggled to draw the cards at the right time, but there is enough strong plays in a deck to make it really fun and really good. Another th thing about this deck, which I find quite interesting, is Biology Project. Now, I'm not completely sold on this card just because I always in the back of my head I always hate giving your opponent something good and giving your opponent two mana crystals can be really strong um, but after playing with it I actually did find some instances where it worked really well particularly against shaman I didn't think shaman was a dangerous class to play this against because um, they don't have the huge card draw to be able to draw lots of cards so often you don't get punished by giving them more mana crystals so I, I kind of it kind of worked that way but if you're playing against druid for example if you don't have the high cost cards in your hand that you want to ramp to you probably don't want to play this because you're just helping you the, the druid out because all they want to do is ramp as well and if they've got ultimate infestation you're just helping them get there so it's a difficult one there is only one in the deck um so i'm not fully sold on it but you can make it work really well Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Frederick, thanks for the suggestion, and I'll see you in the next video. Shaman, okay. I'm going to keep the swipe in case it's even Shaman, and Plague actually is really good. Oh, it's... These are bad if it's um, Evolve Shaman or Shudderwalk, though. Let's just keep the swipe. Oh, we got Plague anyway. Oh, an Oakheart, okay. Now we just need Ramp. Shudderwalk. Do I play Biology Project? Yeah, I think I do. I, I just hate playing this card. It's a shame he frees me. But it makes sense. Oh, what an opener. Okay, so at least that wasn't Taunt. No, don't you dare draw the second Dragon Hatcher. 
Nourish. I need nourish off the top. Okay, I might have to swipe. Oh my god. That's ruined the whole game now. Um, that's ruined our whole game plan. So now I probably don't want to swipe. I want to wait for Plague next turn. That's so devastating. Maybe Hadronox as well, so it might not be that bad. Play some more minions. Oh. No. <laughs> Can he not target that? That's awesome. Just made my spreading blade better. That's awesome. That was a mistake. His minions have echo, that's really bad, but I can't kill it, right? So I think this is my only option. That is three terrible draws in a row. Oh, it doesn't count as a minion for Plague. Okay. I did not know that. Change then if with Thrall. How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Hmm. Spellstone. So I can either go Coin Primordial Drake or Swipe here. It's just if I go Coin Primordial, it means I can't play any of my nines next turn. Yeah, Primordial's good. Healing totem, that's what I didn't want. Hex. Tark Reaper. At least the second one's not buffed. I might swipe that and Spellstone is Glinda. Oh, so annoying that healing totem. Naturalize. Well, I don't want to do that. I just need to kill Glinda. Oh, that healing totem. That's going to go up to five at the end of his turn. Let's just do this. Next time I'm playing Dragon Hatcher, and if we get Sleepy Dragon out and he doesn't have Hex, that's pretty good. What are you hiding? What is that? <laughs> Don't see many people playing that. Fair play to him, though. Okay, Plague. It's only three, remember, because of that. But, um,. I think we just play Dragon Hatcher. Because even if we get Ysera, it's quite nice. Drake. That's the worst one. Okay. That's really annoying. I think I just go uh, Dragon Hatcher again. Ah! Even Hyo Kart's terrible now. Sarah. <sighs> well, 
hopefully he doesn't have another hex. Might fall. Volcano's not enough. Okay, that's nice. That's really good. Lich King. Awesome. Let's play Lich King rather than Sleepy Dragon. Warriors of the frozen ways. Give me something good, you Sarah. That's terrible. That can be good, but I'm at too low health already to use that. <laughs> if he doesn't kill these and I get to play the Jakari. Actually, I think I'll play. Oh, he's got the other hex. Okay, I think this time I play Sleepy Dragon then. Or do I just naturalize it? No. He can't hex anymore. Oh, come on! <laughs> Give me some good cards. Volcano is also not enough. Oh, God. That's quite annoying. Branching paths. If I do branching paths for armor and double Ysera Awakens, that clears everything here. I could also naturalize them both. But I think giving him cards is how I lose the game here. Oh, I've got two naturalizers, but what can I follow up the naturalizers with? Nothing. So let's do this. I think that's probably the best play. That's pretty good. Okay, lightning bolt. I think this turn I just go Plague plus Emerald. And we should be able to finish him off next turn. I shall bring you rest. <laughs> Another one! I'll finish him off with you, Sarah Awakens, if he doesn't kill me this turn. I can't see how he can kill me this turn, to be honest. No taunt. Okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Got to feel bad for him. Nice, that went quite well. After a terrible draw. I think I've got to assume it's Zoo, right? Spellstone's really good against Zoo. I'm, I'll keep the Nourish, we, j we just don't know. Uh, I would love to have one game where I can play the Oak Cart combo. In the light's name. Okay, it is Zoo. So Malfurion's nice, but nothing else is. Just be the game over. Ah. I don't think I even want to attack because it could give his healing guy more. Because if I attack any of these and then he heals them, even his face, then that gets more attack. Uh, In the go. light's name. I think this one's game over before it started. We do have one chance. Look. Look. Job's done. 
<laughs> if that was Okar, we had a chance, but unfortunately it's not. I don't know, do I have branching paths for cards or do I do it for mm. armor? I mean, cards is probably better. Yeah, there's the fungal enchanter. Why did he attack? Oh, because he had to get the healing, yeah. Deal two damage. Oh, but now I don't have the... Hmm. I don't have the mana. So, if I go armor, I'm gonna, I'm taking a 12 anyway. So it just saves me one turn. And I've got nothing to follow up, so let's do cards. There you go, there's a plague. That's what I wanted. But I think it's too late anyway. Yeah, because this is so dead. Maybe I should have gone armor so that I could go nourish and spell stone, but Rip. It's playtime. Well, we're beating him on mana crystals, guys. Yeah, I mean, Kellis F on two, plus a poor star from us, we were never going to win. Hey, can you just kill me, dude? Yeah. Feels bad. I must Rogue. Alright, let's keep the Spellstone. Odd Rogue. It's odd rogue, okay. This isn't exactly a good hand. But the spell stone's quite nice. That's not good. I feel like he's gonna play cold blood on that. Let's hit that, because if he does put cold blood on it, I can just use the spell stone. But he's he's probably got his flappy bird. Oh, here's clan. That was that's the worst because I can't upgrade it. Um. That's good. That is good. I do have to wait two turns. I haven't got a good play next turn. But I'm hoping he can't kill my scout without trading, so I'm probably hoping too much. No, oh, cold blood. No. no this okay. guy's oh, that's bad. Oh dear. Alright. Next turn he's got 6, 9, 10, 11. 13 plus loads of potentials so you could even play Leroy next turn so I think what I do is I armor up and we just have to we just have to spell stone What's the bet this just get Vile Spine? <laughs> Rip. I think we're dead. Um, we're very nearly dead, he just needs two damage. 
three damage. Actually. Uh. Yeah, two hench clan thugs. That's pretty hard to get around. I must protect the wild. Nature must be preserved. Wow, against druid, this is what we want. Okay. Ooh, finally. So we just have to please don't draw the Jakari Enchanter, please. Ah, oh, he had his wild growth as well. So now he can go coin nourish. I really hope he doesn't have coin uh, nourish, I mean. I can't complain though, because I've got it. Oh, he has got coin nourish. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the one time I get all the. Oh, I got double nourish. For the wild. That's how I get all my ramp. He gets it as well. Um, so yeah, this isn't, you, it's not worth me ramping again. I'll just play that. Well, this, is, this is good actually, because he might be ramping but not have his ultimate infestation or, or whatever he's looking for. Okay. Oh, stop drawing dragons. Right, one. <laughs> we just need to survive one draw without getting the Jukari. Unless he naturalizes it. But... Oh. Life is... Don't go poisonous. Don't go poisonous. Thank you. He should have gone poisonous there. Here we go. This is what the deck's supposed to do. Onward, friends! Now I wish I had my branching paths. But uh, he can still play Plague. I feel like he's probably Togwaggle. But I don't know, it could be... It could be anything. Alright, I want to put your Sarah down, so I'll kill off my Greedy Sprite, I think. I haven't got any more dragons left. So, this combo is useless. He's probably going to spreading plague now, which is annoying. But I dream and the world okay. That's actually really good if he does Spreading Plague. Uh, don't have Plague. So annoying! Branching paths. Um... So if I do this, I lose one, two, three, four of my minions, but I can do twelve damage to his face. What to do? And I can play. Let's nourish for cards first. 
Okay, so I get um Oh, those Adronox. Branching paths. Ooh, for attack. Time waits for no one. The extra attack probably doesn't mean much. Let's just do it. I shall bring Leave I'm gonna overdraw, but <sighs> that's okay. I just don't want to overdraw another branching paths or Malfurion, I suppose. So I've got to think he, ha he hasn't got naturalized, otherwise he, he would use it now. Probably he's got swipe. Oh, the game. Okay. Hang on, have I got? Ah, oh, that's a that's a bad burn. But have I got lethal here? I shall bring easy peasy. I can rest now. Nice. That's how the deck should work. 